This is one of the biggest vintage festivals in the UK. There's dancing, there's bands, there's cars racing around. Vintage weekend and pretend that you're in the 50s and forget about modern day life. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm David and this is my wife Sarah. We are at the Atomic Festival in Sywell Aerodrome, Northamptonshire. It's a vintage festival, but it has a, quite a rockabilly scene to it, which is slightly different. Circles of people who are actually meeting and enjoying the same things. Even if you've never come to an event like this, there's going to be so much to see. You know, most people have an interest in the classic cars because they look so amazing. But if you're not into that and you like music, well, there's so much music going on. So even if you've never come into the scene before and you're not sure that it's particularly for you, I'm sure you'll find something to enjoy here. I saw the Heimer Rockabilly Blogger competition on Facebook, scrolling through my newsfeed. I posted a photo of my truck and then just followed the link, filled in the information and kind of then just forgot about it until four or five weeks later, Rachel emailed and said, we'd like you to be our Rockabilly Blogger. The vintage look of this caravan fits perfectly this sort of event. I think one of the best selling points of the Rockabilly caravan is that it is compact, but there's so much space inside. At the moment we're sitting in the dining area and then above us we've got covered space all the way around and that goes all the way around the caravan and there's a few sockets dotted around, I think there's three, three sockets. sockets. You've got the kitchen area which has got a sink and a two burner hob and it's useful because it's got a cover for the, the sink area so you can use that as more surface space. It's also got a little flap so you can extend the kitchen surface area. A fridge which is brilliant. I think, I think it's got a little ice box, we've not yeah. used that yet. Then we've got the bathroom. The tap for the basin turns into a shower, so you can shower in there as well. And then you've got the bedroom area, so it's got a double bed. Underneath that is a huge amount of storage. The great thing about the under bed storage is it's accessible from outside as well. So there's a little hatch outside, so your water butt and your power cables and stuff like that can live under there. You can get them from outside. My favorite feature of the Rockabilly, the pop-up roof. <laughs> it catches everybody's eye. You park up, you pop the roof, and it just gives you so much space. The main thing I like about having the Rockabilly caravan at the moment is the ease of being able to do stuff. It's very easy to just turn up, put the legs down and you're ready to go, hook up to the power, and you have all mod cons. Coming out in the Rockabilly in comparison to bringing a tent and having to worry about all the paraphernalia that goes with camping. It's nice having everything in one place so we didn't have to worry about packing in the same way as we would normally. We've cooked full meals on it, sat here with dinner and drinks and enjoyed the evening. You can just hook up, drive to wherever you want to go and get there and you're ready to go. It's a very luxurious one stop. Describing dancing it's doing it. It's getting out on the dance floor, dancing to the music, whether it's a DJ playing classic hits from the 50s or bands playing some of the new stuff. And it's just enjoying it and feeling the music. We had the common ground of liking the music and liking dancing. And then, yeah, the rest is history, I suppose. The Demon Drome is a wall of death. So basically it's a huge barrel that has a curved bottom on it and they race around it. And you stand at the top looking down and watching these bikes and cars go round on the vertical walls, which is quite impressive. The friends that we're here with this weekend, we met through the rockabilly scene. It's just a really friendly scene. If there's an interesting show, we try to go. It's easier with a caravan, you just rock up put the legs down and away you go. Having a caravan definitely gives you more freedom. You're not so limited by having to pack all of your camping gear, for example. So having it all there means you've got much more flexibility. You get to travel more and see more of the country. We've got out there, we're meeting lots of interesting people and getting to see a lot more than we would if we'd been camping. If somebody was undecided about whether caravanning was for them or not, if their car could tow, I would just hitch this up straight away and say, right, go, just drive, just go and find a campsite, go stay. Hands down, we would recommend this to anybody. And I would just encourage somebody to just take that jump and go and do it and see it explore. I think in a nutshell, with caravans like this, where they are smaller and lighter, you can tow them with a wider variety of vehicles. They are a bit more adventurous. You can go off the beaten track, you can drive on the, on the smaller roads with these caravans and you can stay anywhere. I mean, what more can you want? Good nutshell. <laughs> it's a big nut, all right? It was a big nut. <laughs>